So you want to know what awaits you in Outriders World Slayer? Think you're ready? Well, let me tell you, you are not. Here we go! Okay, you've beaten Outriders, called down the drop pods and crushed every expedition to become supercharged demigods, roaming the battlefields of Enoch. But that doesn't mean your Outriders can kick back and relax just yet. No, I didn't believe in it. But the anomaly, it's growing. In Outriders World Slayer, we see the anomaly has continued to evolve, rising to the challenge that you, the Outriders, have presented. Frost storms and blizzards now ravage the land at a speed that even Enoch's hyper-evolved monstrosities struggle to adapt to. And as if this wasn't bad enough, Ereshkigal, the commander of the human insurgent faction, has her own designs in mind for the future of humanity on Enoch. It gets better every day. Against impossible odds, the Outrider will have to push themselves to their limits to help Enoch see another day. If you want humanity to survive this frozen onslaught, you will need to travel to some of the furthest reaches of Enoch. New lands, of course, also bring new horrors. And Outriders World Slayer doesn't just introduce new enemy variants, it adds entirely new adversaries. These all formulate a pretty scary gang of beasts and bosses who are very eager to say hello. Unsure if your current gear will be good enough for these adventures? Yeah, well, it is, but not to worry. Outriders World Slayer adds a bunch of new loot for you to hunt down, including badass weaponry as well as class-specific and universal legendary armor sets. More on that topic a bit later. For now, let's have a look at our biggest new features. The packs drew strength from the anomaly in their own way. By exploring their past, you too will be able to unlock a secondary skill tree, which adds two more subclass branches for each of the original classes. Points for these new pack class trees unlock after completing significant events in Outriders World Slayer. But even a new skill tree won't be enough to reach the highest echelons of difficulty. As an altered, you will still need to ascend. Ascension is the new long-term progression system introduced in Outriders World Slayer. Step by step, it will allow you to improve your endurance, your brutality, your prowess, and even the anomaly power itself. With up to 200 ascension points to unlock, continued ascension progress will be a constant companion in Outriders World Slayer even over hundreds of hours of play. Sound good? Of course it does, but we're not done yet. Outriders World Slayer introduces Apocalypse Tears, which will be replacing Challenge Tears, even when playing Expeditions. Apocalypse Tears will be active across all World Slayer content, and will go up to level 40. That means a new higher level cap of level 75 gear 2. Speaking of gear, Apocalypse Tears also introduce Apocalypse Gear. A third mod slot will propel your gear to its most destructive form yet. And in combination with the many new and brutal mods coming with World Slayer, well, let's just say you'll be able to bring some unseen crazy firepower to the table. Whew. That's already a lot to take in. Throughout the Outriders World Slayer campaign, you'll already have your hands full of dealing with Arashkigal and her minions. However, if you do manage to get past her, well, the true endgame still awaits. The Trial of Taria Kratar. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. That, my friends, is the tale for another spotlight.